All right, everybody. Krios here, and we're going to talk about Ableton getting along with OBS and the drivers and things. So if you've been trying to do this, you'll know that there's some manipulating that you have to do uh, to get around this. Um, so in Ableton, we can see here, we go under to our preferences, uh, hit audio, and you'll see usually your, your driver that would be on here will just be an ASIO driver. Um, you can see I have an ASIO for all and Novation USB and the UMC for my um, interface. So issue is with this is um, the regular stock ASIO driver that comes with this does not seem to want to go into OBS. So um, the first one that I found that would would be the DirectX right here. And that I guess works okay. Uh, there is some performance issues with that uh, and, and lack of control of latency. And uh, my real problem with this was when I wanted to record some vocals into Ableton, it was like I needed to turn this back to ASIO to get any kind of a um, good recording in without a whole lot of latency. So. That was an issue for me. So scour, scouring the internet again and checking everything out, I've come across a few things saying about uh, the FL Studio ASIO driver. So um, I already had the ASIO for all in there. I, I don't know what the difference is with that, but I, I, I wanted to go check out FL Studios again because I come from FL Studios. So it's kind of like, okay, it's, it's been a while since I've, I've, I've you know, played with FL Studios, and I'm kind of whispering now because Ableton is listening to me, and it's probably just going to crash on me. But anyway, <laughs> I went and got that, and here you can see that I have the FL Studio ASIO driver on here, and I am recording into OBS at the moment, so you can see that right here. Um, so in OBS, I have my uh, display capture video display um, and my audio input so um, you can see that it's my Behringer line one two out uh, coming from my interface so that's nice that it's working in there uh, another uh, tip for you guys too if you are in here don't forget about these filters so a filter allows you to add a plugin um, and, and things uh, so you know noise gate in case you got one of these sensitive microphones and you want that sucker not to be picking up every mouse squeak or everything else that's going on in your house so with that being said there we can come in here into Ableton and we can open up a audio track here you can see that I'm on uh, there's my line one out from my interface and I can turn it on and it's, you know, you can see it slightly behind because I'm watching my meter. But that's not really too bad for running all this at once. I think so. So that was it. I really wanted to see if I could help anybody else out with um, getting their Ableton and OBS talking to each other. Krios out.